Hello, welcome to ham vlog number 20. All right, so I've been pretty darn busy lately. Worked all week, traveled almost 2,000 miles last weekend. I saw Dallas. It was bigger and more, hmm, it was different than the last time I went. It was different. Um, it was bigger and more congested and less, your money went less far there. I was impressed with Oklahoma City. In Edmond, Oklahoma, I was very impressed. But the problem I had on that trip was every I wanted to operate. I had my camera, I had my batteries, I had my radio, but I also had a 40-foot antenna, right? I had the trail-friendly 10, 10, 20, 40 antenna, but this is a 41-foot antenna. And every time I thought, hey, I want to go operate, I thought, how am I going to get that up in the air? I have a... I have a, a telescoping pole but it's it's so it's such a, an ordeal to get it up it's probably a 15 to 20 minute ordeal to get an antenna up and it attracts a lot of attention right and over and over again we went to a hotel 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 my mom's house my mom's house we went five five nights we stayed out and I only operated one time and it was a disaster because and I'll show you I'm gonna make the video because I I couldn't get my antenna tower up. I had that telescoping pole, and like everyone said, the base slips. And I was on a slope, and it kept slipping. The whole tower kept slipping. Hope it's not for me. allows you to operate when you can't normally operate. So I would have had like four videos out of my last trip from Dallas to Oklahoma City twice, my mom's house. I would have had a bunch of videos. I would have operated. It would have been a struggle. I may have made a contact. I may not. But the difference between operating and not is having an antenna. The antenna is by far the hardest thing in HF radio. How do you get an antenna up? How? And I'm, I'm going with the AX1 because I paid full price for it today. But um, what I've heard is you're not supposed to buy this little bipod thing. And you're supposed to separate it from your radio. It's, it's better that way. And you need a radio. This is the super antenna. And I'm not going to do a review on it right now. But this is a coil, basically. And you put, you put the telescoping pole on it and you mount it. This is not a review of this thing, right? But the coil goes up and you can tune it and so forth. So what you do is you use this little guide and it tells you 40 meters or whatever you want to pick. And you can use this antenna. Okay, the problem with that is it's very hard to tune. It's very, very, very finicky. And it kind of takes a while to set up. But what it does come with is... It you can make this, but it comes with this radio, and it has this. It has several different links, and I'm not going to read off all the different links. But you plug this into the super antenna, and what you get are you get all these different band band links. This, and it kind of tangles up. You get this length. I'm going to try and reuse this super antenna radio. But it has this little weird connector on it. I forget what you call it. And it doesn't always work with my antenna. So if I can use this and that and spread them all out, I think I'm going to be good good to go. So remember, I am not sponsored by Elecraft at all whatsoever. They've never given me a penny. Nothing. But I'm telling you, I think this is the answer to those situations which happen very often where you cannot operate because your hotel room has a tiny little balcony and you've only got 45 minutes and you've got to put an antenna up and back down and you cannot use try getting this this trail friendly 40 41 feet antenna what are you going to do with this 41 feet 
it's a great antenna, but how? What are you gonna do with it? You're gonna you have to get into a tree. Where I was at, I'm gonna make a video of my Oklahoma City disaster. I think I made a contact, but I had it like horizontal because there there was like a 20 foot tree, and I just like threw it up. So my next idea was, what if I had a solar panel that went straight to my radio, but it was voltage regulated? Okay, so BioNO sent me this after I bought a couple of their batteries. They sent me this. And it's one of those solar panels. And I need to do a video on this. But it comes with 28 watt solar panel. And it comes with all of these wires, including the power pole. So if I went from this into my voltage regulator into my any radio that I have can I can I operate with just solar power this is something I want to experiment with but do I have the time to do that I don't know operate straight from solar that's the next project I have to do that this thing is pretty heavy though it's probably like four pounds three pounds are you gonna carry that around I went out and did my first ever mountain topper and it worked, but I had to struggle. I had to call CQ a lot. I was getting bitten by mosquitoes, and I was dancing around, but I called CQ. I had the Pico paddle here, and I had a 9-volt battery. This thing drained so quickly. That's why I got that voltage regulator, so I could use a bigger battery and be able to operate. I had this little, this little device is good for audio, but this has no volume control, so it was so loud. It was so loud that everyone in the park could hear me. So it was like, dee, 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 dee. it was so loud. I need a vo I need a volume regulator on my speaker. Otherwise, everyone in the whole within within a quarter mile, you're going to be hearing CW because there's no volume at all. As a final thing, I will say I got this. This is a cigar. This is a humidor for cigars, and I hate to even open it, but I bought I bought a really expensive cigar in Dayton when I was there with my good friend Ron C. And let's just open it up. This is a cigar humidor travel case, of course. These are like $15, $20 cigars, so they're no joke. It is a, for those of you that are connoisseurs, it says Ashton on it. I've got two sizes of Ashton, and these are just... I don't smoke cigars very often, very, very, very rarely, maybe, maybe like one per month. But when you have a good cigar, they are very smooth and they're very nice. Don't smoke a lot, but I do smoke a little bit. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. This is just me just ranting. I don't put a lot of thought behind these and I don't want to because then it won't be fun. Anyway, uh, I will see you on the air. I've got, I've got this antenna coming. I'm going to do a review, and hopefully it's good because it's going to get me on the air more often. The whole point is, I swear, I had so many opportunities to, to operate. And every single time I thought about operating, I said to myself, no, it's too hard to get that thing up in the air and down. The antenna is so hard on HF when you're traveling that you need something like this. And again, I'm not sponsored at all whatsoever. I paid 100% for this. All right, I'm going to shut up. Thanks. Okay. I'm gonna try to set up my antenna out here discreetly. 
I always feel like I'm gonna get in trouble, you know what I mean? So I put my spikes in here. I hear a police siren. Hope it's not for me. Boy, this thing really wants to, you know, people told me about this, but it really wants to slide around more than I thought. That's a problem I'm going to have to deal with. All right. I'm having to do some impromptu shit here, so what I'm doing is I'm tying this around. I have to throw this over that tree and try to get a bit better SWR. Let's see if we can do it.
Okay, so I had a hell of a time with this setup. I had not tested it before. Here's the story. I had not tested it before. Everyone told me that this would slide around. And on this grass, when I did the spikes and this, it slid around like crazy. It was like all over the place. It was so slick. I need spikes on this. So I gave that up. Airplane. I gave that idea up. There's an airport over there, which I'm a little worried that those guys over there are going to see me doing something odd and call the police or something. So, you know, I'm a little paranoid. All right, I'm on 7068. Let's hit tune. Three watts. Tune again. All right, I'm one three to one. So what I've got here is a very terrible crude setup. I have the LNR trail friendly antenna as best as I can get it in that tiny tree over here with my 10 foot mini coax. I just threw it up there and it is dangling. I hope I can get it back down. It is not even, oh, it's all tangled up. No wonder I can't get one to one. I might try re-throwing that, I don't know. I'm just gonna call C CQ and see what happens because I don't have a lot of time, again. One hour, I've got one hour. Here we go, 7068. Ten one one six. So I finally gave up because I don't have enough tools. I didn't pack right. I didn't do things right. You gotta really experiment. And I just threw it up as high as I could into this tiny ass tree, and I just let it get dangle. It's in there somewhere. It's just lowing low. It's low down, but remember, I'm on a com time constraint. I got one hour, and I've already spent a bunch of time. So let's see what we can do. 